Hello there, Craig with you for another video on HubSpot Custom Reports. Remember in our last video, we looked at creating the simplest report possible, which is simply a report of contacts grouped by date, based on their create date. So I'm here and you remember we had a filter and it was just the last year and a half. So I'm actually gonna take that out. This will take us back to all contacts over all time and this is now spread out. And so what you can see here is the what we call a frequency report. And I'll tell you why. Because if we look at this create date monthly, you'll notice we've got frequency here. And I want to highlight this new thing, it's date part, which is now available in Custom Report Builder. And what it means is you can switch from seeing the frequency over all time to grouping it by date parts. So a date part might be month, we're gonna stick with that. I'm gonna switch it to month. And you watch what happens, it takes it out of frequency, gone to month, date part, I'm gonna apply it. And what you'll see is now it's taken all of those contacts and it's grouped them just by months. So this day, January here, includes all of the contacts that were created in January 2013, January, 20, uh, January 2014, January 2015, et cetera, grouped together. That's called date part. And reminder, it was here, date part. I'll, I'll go back to frequency so you can see it. I'll switch it back. Okay, so that's the difference. So then you might say, okay, that's great. That's very handy. What, what would you use it for? Typically, you wanna see seasonality trends. And we're just doing it with contacts here. And for example, straight away, you can see, well, July seems to be a big month for creating contacts. What's going on? Now we actually want to break it down. And I want to show you the break down column here. We're actually going to break this down by month as well. So stick around for the next video. I'm going to show you how you do that and how we can drill into results to get more insights about what's generating your actual trends in your portal.